If you've ever been on a team or had to facilitate a team for creative and critical thinking, brainstorming, sharing ideas, moving ideas around, putting things together, then you know one of the most valuable tools that you can use in your office or in your environment is a whiteboard because it allows us to put ideas on the whiteboard, erase them, draw connections between them. But there are some limitations to a whiteboard and in this video I'm going to address those limitations and how we can overcome them by using digital whiteboards and some special hardware. Probably one of the most obvious limitations of physical whiteboards is the fact that they are physical whiteboards. So no matter how big of a room that I'm using, there's only so much wall real estate that I can use in order to put up whiteboards. Now another limitation of a physical whiteboard is that once I erase the contents, unless I've taken a picture, I'm not going to be able to retrieve that content. Even if I take a picture, I'm not going to be able to continue working with that content unless I put everything back on the whiteboard or unless I find some other way to do that. So if you've seen any videos on the channel, you know I'm a big fan of digital whiteboards because they offer that infinite canvas. They allow me to collaborate across an infinite canvas and they allow me to save my work. So I can keep all of the ideation that I've done, I can keep all my brainstorming and my facilitated sessions so that I have a record of what's happened and I can go back and I can continue to build on the ideas that we've shared. Another big problem that digital whiteboards can help me with are things like pens. I can have an infinite number of pens in an infinite number of colors, shapes. I can have a ton of different shapes and notes and all sorts of different objects that I can bring onto the digital whiteboard. When I'm working with a physical whiteboard, a lot of times I will have a bag of magnets and a bunch of pieces of paper so that I can rearrange things on that physical whiteboard, again if it's a magnetic whiteboard, but I can rearrange things on that whiteboard so that my ideation can really be free form. A lot of times if I'm working with others, I'll use post-it notes. However, a digital whiteboard, this problem is gone because I can have this infinite canvas and I have an entire tool set of things that I can put on the whiteboard. So again, digital whiteboards for the win. And there's even another big benefit of using digital whiteboards. I can use them remotely. So I can have people join remotely. We can all be working on the same whiteboard, even if we're not physically in the same room. And if we are physically in the same room, I can actually use my computer and project the whiteboard onto a screen. So if I have a projector in the room and I can project it onto the screen, I can turn that screen into effectively a whiteboard. So there's lots and lots of good things about digital whiteboards. And if you want to learn how to use some, you can see on this channel, I have lots of videos about that. But there is a challenge with digital whiteboards. And that is, it can be difficult to draw using your mouse. So if you're using your mouse to draw, it can be very difficult to actually do things like do text writing or to draw shapes. We can use some tools that can make it a little bit easier, but the best solution when we're using a digital whiteboard is to use some sort of graphics tablet. So this one here is by a company called Nearhub, and a little bit more about them in a moment. They're sponsoring this video, but the graphic tablet is going to allow me to use a pen in order to draw on the whiteboard. And this is a game changer. And having graphic tablets that are affordable also means that if I have many people working remotely, each of them can have their own graphic tablet. So, so rather than just one person using a graphic tablet to present, we can have every participant with their own graphic tablet and then everybody can use a pen in order to collaborate on the whiteboard. This unlocks a lot of potential. Nearhub makes interactive whiteboards. These are hardware whiteboards for classrooms and small rooms and collaboration rooms. They're fantastic because they allow me to have the best of the whiteboard physical world as well as the digital world. Beautiful displays. They're actually sending an S55 that I'll be reviewing here on the channel, but you can see that there's a lot of different models that they offer. They have, for example, the S55, 13, which is the one that I've shown you, which is a great solution for hardware in order to work with interactive whiteboards, with digital whiteboards. So the, the software, the hardware that they create, absolutely fantastic. They also create software, which is whiteboard software, and it's good, and I'm going to say right up front that while I think it's very good software, there are some areas that I'm hoping to see some improvements in in the next little bit. Hello everybody, it's Frank from the future jumping into the video, and the reason I wanted to jump in at this point is because after I filmed the video where I talk about some things that I think could be improved with the whiteboard software, 
I shared that feedback with Nearhub and their response was very fast and very quick. They said, we're going to make those changes and they have. So some of the things that I talk about in the upcoming segment here, where I say, I wish this was a little different or this could be improved, have already been changed or they will be shortly. And I think that speaks very highly to the way that Nearhub works with customers to make sure that they're evolving the product to meet the needs of the customer. One thing that hasn't changed is the high quality of the tablet itself. It's, be, it's become one of my favorite tools for working with digital whiteboards because it's a high quality piece of hardware and seeing the software improve as well is just a good sign that Nearhub is a company that's worth keeping your eye on. So when you watch the rest of the video, if you see areas that I say, I wish this was different and I wish this was different, Check it out because there's a good chance that that feedback has been heard and acted upon. Now back to the regular video. So first of all, as a whiteboard, you would expect I have a number of pens that I can have here. I can change pen color. I can change pen thickness. And already, even though I have horrible handwriting, you can see that it's a much easier experience to use a pen, a stylus and the board in order to be able to write. I can change the thickness of the pen, so I have almost an infinite number of pens that I can work with, certainly many, many colors, many thicknesses that I can work with to really convey information and meaning. I have an eraser, of course, I can erase what I've done. I have shapes. Now, this is the first place where I think there could be a bit of improvement. I can draw a shape, and you'll notice, first of all, that when I, when I have the shape, I can then put text into the shape. So I'm gonna draw hello here. You'll notice that that translates to text, and now I'm able to go in and I'm able to have this triangle with hello in it. The challenge that I have here is that if I wanna resize the triangle, I can move it around no problem at all, but if I want to resize it, the right now, the digital whiteboard that's offered by Nearhub does not allow me to do that using the stylus. I need to use my mouse in order to grab those corners. So I'm sure they're going to come up with some improvements to the software here, but just something to be aware of. Same thing, I can have post-it notes. You'll also notice that the default text is currently in Chinese, so that's fine. I can just click on it and I can type in whatever language I prefer. I have an English keyboard. But here's a feature that I haven't seen on another whiteboard that I absolutely love, and that's these connection lines. So I can actually drag these connection lines and I can connect objects together. So this allows me to connect ideas, to create flow charts, to create diagrams. And this is a very powerful aspect to their whiteboard that I think is really great. Now I won't be able to move the whiteboard by grabbing on the whiteboard and dragging. So I have down below in the corner here, a overview map where I can then drag along and I can drag around to a blank space on the whiteboard. So if I go here, you can see I can zoom in, zoom out. I can do all of that good stuff. I also have mind mapping. Again, it's Chinese text, but that's fine. I can do the mind map, I can do start, I can do a branch off the mind map, I can format the branches. So I'll put a branch here, so that's uh, my, main I have my main subject, I have a branch. Once I select the branch, I can spin off and I can have a sub-branch. I really like mind mapping, so I think this is an absolutely fantastic feature of their software. And if I go in, I can do a child branch in here as well. Now, when you are doing the mind mapping, there is a little bit of a gotcha or a caveat in there. And that is if you have longer text, it cuts it off. And if I drag it out, it doesn't restore it. So for example, here I, I typed in the word branch. And then when it uh, shrunk down, it, it truncated the word branch. And I've got the three ellipse, the dot, dot, dot. So here's an example. This is a very long uh, piece of text. I put that in there. Then if I put a child branch off this, so let's go ahead and drag this out. You'll see that it's T-E-X and then dot, dot, dot. So, and that can't be restored even if I drag that out. But still the mind mapping feature is kind of interesting. And I'm looking forward because their hardware, I'm so impressed with the S13 tablet. I think it's a really great tablet. I'm using it for other whiteboard products. Um, they have templates as well. The agile strategy planning. Now when I grab one of the templates, an interesting thing happens here is that I have multiple pages. So now I have multiple pages to my whiteboard and so I can switch between those pages. And then if I go to page three here, which has the template I just used, I can drag elements of the template apart and I can also go in, select everything and move all of the template elements uh, together, zoom in, zoom out, all the things you might expect. One of the things that I really like here as well is again, I can take this template, 
move it around. I can go to the, the moving here. I can go in, drag a shape like a triangle, and then I can actually connect this triangle to objects on the template. So again, that connection feature is absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'm thinking that this software will evolve over time, and I'm excited to see that evolution. There's a timer, so I can put a timer on there. They also have a good uh, feature where I can upload images and documents like PDFs. So here I can go in, I can upload an image. I can actually go in and use the pen on here as well. Again, I'm going to have to use my mouse to resize the image. Uh, this, the stylus didn't work for me, I couldn't get the corner. But again, I can connect it up to different objects. And what's interesting here as well is that if I move the objects, notice the connections are maintained. So this feature is very, very useful. It's something that I think is, um, is unique. We know that having the right hardware to take advantage of all the things that digital whiteboards can do is critical. The Nearhub S13, I have extensively used this. I've put it through its paces. This is a great piece of hardware. It actually is comparable to another drawing tablet that I have, which is quite expensive, and it is far superior to a different drawing tablet that I have, which is good for occasional whiteboarding. This here is going to be the workhorse that I use. I'm very, very impressed with the, uh, with the graphic drawing tablet, the S13. I'm very, very excited to look at the S55 hardware because I'm very impressed with Nearhub's hardware. The software has some really good and unique features. I'm going to say that their software for the whiteboard does need to grow up a little bit. It needs to mature. But there are some great foundational elements in that software, like the ability to connect objects. That's really clever. Uh, the, the mind mapping, I really like that as well. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on their software to see if it evolves a little bit more. Meanwhile, I am going to use this S13 with other digital whiteboard products as well as looking at the Nearhub whiteboard software. So I'm going to keep my eye on it. I'm going to use this with other software as well. It's a great piece of hardware, highly recommended. If you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification, then you won't miss the review that I do on the S55 hardware once it arrives, and I'm very excited to share that with you. Thank you for watching. There's some other videos here on the channel about the S13, the unboxing, as well as some videos on whiteboards and how we use them in education to learn and teach better with technology. Thank you so much for watching.